now that I've shaved, I've finally realised how just how fad chin is. Like, Jesus Christ, I, I've heard of a double chin, but that's a bit much, isn't it? Just a bit much. And thank God, thank God I'm not like this for the whole video. I, I look like Daddy Thick Neck, you know, that, the Thick Neck guy. Well, anyway, um, JLA Year One Part One. Uh, get used to seeing these year ones. Uh, this is the first of many. They got Robin year one. We have, um, yeah, we've got Robin year one coming. And this we've got, uh, Superman, uh, not Superman year one. We've got Batgirl year one. Uh, and someone else year one. I don't know. I don't remember whom. Exactly, but we got someone else uh, with a year one book. But get used to these year one books, because this is the first of many. Uh, there's there's many more where this came from. Um, essentially, this is just the the origins and the first year of the Justice League of America. Um... So this this team is built up of I know on the front cover it's got Batman, Green Arrow, Atom and Superman, but they're barely in the book. Superman isn't even in the book. Um the the actual team that we follow in this is Martian Manhunter, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Black Canary, and Flash. Um Yeah, and it's a good team. It's good that the book centers around the the lesser known or the the less popular characters in the in the JLA. There's like yeah, they could have started off with the the usual Batman and Superman, but Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, but they didn't, and I like that. Um. I like the fact that Aquaman gets pushed to the forefront in this. Uh, what I I don't like how Black Canary is written because even even back in nineteen ninety eight, you know, um, Black Canary was you know Ooh, all these male chauvinistic pigs and uh, I know it was just a, a subject of the time, but I really. I really, that really gets on my nerves. And because it is the 90s, it's that typical, like, 90s writing. Or that typical style of 90s writing. It's all very cheesy. Um, uh, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's just really it's really cheesy writing uh the artwork as well is quite it's it's good but it is 90s artwork it is very much that kind of very 90s comic book style which i I'm not the biggest fan of, but I also I could I could get past it. Uh, the The main gist of this is it's the team coming together, and it's the first story arc with the team coming together. So these aliens kind of come down from from another planet, uh, looking to invade, and there's this group called Locus. Which are kind of like taking in these aliens. They're kind of doing some sciencey stuff with them, and the JLA is trying to stop the aliens, trying to stop Locus, and all other stuff kind of ensues. Um, so during the first kind of um, the first kind of meeting 
or kind of press conference that these that the JLA do, they are attacked by uh, Solomon Grundy, Clayface, Thorn, and Eclipso, uh, who kind of make this this like super team, and they they beat up the JLA quite plain and simply. They beat up the JLA quite easily. Um, and we see a lot of the other, like, superheroes. Uh, who are looking at this and commenting on it. Saying, uh, basically saying, wow, look at the JLA. I, I, I was peeved that they didn't invite me, but now I'm seeing them getting their asses kicked. I kind of, um, I'm glad that I wasn't a part of that. Um, we see Batman, and he's like, "Yeah, they they bought they bought a trouble to Gotham. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having that." Uh, yeah, and we see more of Locus, and we get a lot of like team building. There's a lot of just. Um, there's a lot of just, um, standing around and talking in the middle part of the book, which is good and bad. It's good because we need that time, that downtime to get the character development, but it's also bad because it is a slow halt right in the middle where you don't want the slow halt to to be um it is it it's a good book but it is like very it's slow it's a slow read a lot of stuff happens and a lot of stuff is yeah a lot of stuff is um important uh that you need to really be paying attention to and you know it's it's a book that was written in the 90s so it's going to you know have that style to it uh and it's going to be a lot more a lot more stuff is going to be happening in a lot less time for it to happen. Um, there is a character, Snapper Carr, who's very annoying during the course of this. He's he's just he's just a guy who clicks his fingers. Just a you know, clicks his fingers. Um, Yeah, not a very interesting or likeable character. He's just annoying. Um, the the last two issues centre around the JLA teaming up with the Doom Patrol, which is which is interesting because in this in this there's only three members of the Doom Patrol in the Doom Patrol show, at least what I've seen of it. There's a lot more than three. There's like five, six, seven, maybe. Um, but yeah, here there's only three members of the Doom Patrol. And they help uh, the JLA fight uh, the Brain, some gorilla guy, and a girl that can stretch. I can't remember their names. Um... And they, the JLA, or four members of the JLA, end up get Martian Manhunter, Green Lantern, Black Canary, and Flash end up getting hit by this ray that takes away body parts of their from them. Um, Martian Manhunter gets his eyes taken out. Black Canary gets her voice box taken out. Uh, Green Lantern loses his arm, which has his ring on it. Uh, and the Flash loses his legs. Um, and this is the bit... This is the bit that... 
it, it it's it's typical nineties cheese, isn't it? Uh, Black Canary gets this voice box put on her. Um, Martian Manhunter gets like this visor thing. Um, Green Lantern gets a robotic arm, but it's it's the Flash. It's the Flash that I think. I think I I think Mark Wade just doesn't like the Flash. I think that's it. Uh, that's 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 kind of taking a piss, isn't it? That's kind of taking a piss out of old Barry Allen. You know, you're giving him a wheelchair, <laughs> and it looks stupid. Like everyone else has something that looks remotely cool, but Flash is just stuck around wheeling in this three wheeled wheelchair. It looks stupid as all bollocks. Um, so yeah, the, the, the heroes fight, Aquaman ends up being integral to the, to the, you know, the good guys winning, the good guys end up winning, and to be continued in JLA year one, part two. Yeah, a lot of stuff goes down in this book, and... That's understandable because it does, it does show the adventures of the first year, or at least the first few months, because this is year one, part one. There's a second part to this, uh, which will be the next video uh, that comes up on my channel, or the next video that I make in this series. Um, but yeah, I I like this. Um, Again, it's not a whole storyline, and it is very uh, a lot of a lot of stuff happens. Uh, it's kind of rushed in parts and places. Uh, although there is a main f focus, main storyline here with Locus, all of the other characters and tie-ins that get they get put in may be a maybe a put off for some people and it it did put me off of it kind of because it's not that one like solid story structure um that i am um, typically a fan of this is more disjointed it is as i uh, as i keep mentioning and as the book is titled the the first year so, of course, in the first year, they're not going to be fighting one villain throughout the first year of their career. But I'm, I'm just saying I didn't enjoy this much as I enjoyed the other books in the, in the um, collection thus far. I will have to give this book a three star, three stars out of five. Uh, it's it's good. It's still enjoyable, um, but it's it's not part. Of, it's not like the full story. You're not getting the full story here, um, and your and it is very it is very nineties. Um, like it's 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 cheesy. It's campy. And it's not all, that's not always a good thing, especially not in this book. It's not always a good thing. It does get a bit too much at times. I'm excited to read part two because that's one that I actually haven't read because this is the last, um, this is the last book that I own of the DC graphic novel collection. So the next one will either be soon or either be really soon or not soon at all. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you can't hear it in my voice, I'm a little a uh, little ill, um, my ears have gone, my foot hurts like all bollocks, 
and um yeah just got a at least to me it sounds like i'm underwater but de my voice might just sound fine it might just sound fine you know might just be completely fine and if so i'm going on this tangent for no reason um but anyway i'll see you in the next video do all that lovely stuff all the um usual links will be in the description below my instagram my twitter my patreon uh the um the site where you can get these books and all that lovely stuff see you guys in the next video peace